Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. Today I would like to discuss a situation that I find to be both informative and unfortunate regarding the Brondel Swash 1400 Luxury Bidet. A bidet is a device that you can use to clean your asshole. In North America, we have strange ideas regarding hygiene. We have this silly idea that if you've taken a crap, that you can clean it using dry toilet paper. Toilet paper is simply going to dry the area, but it's not actually going to clean it. And we're going to do a demonstration here to show my North American viewers how this is the case. I have a bidet in my own home and also at my store for my employees. It's not a $500 bidet, it's a $24 bidet, and it does the job fairly well of washing your asshole. This gentleman named Wayne decided to purchase a $500 Brondel Swash 1400 Luxury Bidet. And when you purchase a luxury bidet, you expect that when you spend more money on the hose than you actually did on the toilet, that you would be able to get access to a service manual so that if a sensor died within that bidet, you would be able to repair it or choose who repairs it for you. Unfortunately, Brondel appears to be a garbage company, so they don't offer that as an option. He asked for a service manual, and they said no. He then asked again. He said, I would like to escalate my request for a service manual. And they responded, and I quote, unfortunately, repair is not not a solution and you need to have a replacement. But they offered him a 30% discount on his bidet that costs almost twice as much as my damn toilet, so that should be good, right? Wrong. The bullet points of this conversation that I will link to down below is that there are no service manuals for customers. If you attempt to repair it, it will void your warranty, which is a com complete violation of the Magnuson Moss Warranty Act. There are no diagnostics available to consumers. You could send it in for repair at an expense approaching the cost of the product itself, and you can purchase a replacement seat part, which may or may not resolve your problem. Now, for those of you who are in North America who don't understand what a bidet is, I would like to go into this for you. Because if you go to Dubai or Egypt or virtually any other part of the world, they have considerably better hygiene when it comes to wiping your ass. And I'm going to demonstrate this to you using coffee beans and some water because I don't want to touch my own poop. My girlfriend's going to kill me when she realizes I wasted her coffee on this. But it's for the betterment of humanity, honey. So don't worry about it. So, so let's say that this is my ass, right? And let's just say that that's the poop. What we do in America, which I find to be fundamentally disgusting, is we think that it is okay to take a dry piece of toilet paper like so. This is admittedly cheaper toilet paper. And do this. But as you can tell, there is still brown on my skin. There is brown on my arm because I have not cleaned myself. I have simply dried myself. Now, watch what happens when you use a bidet. I'm going to use a portable bidet here because I don't actually want to go to the bathroom and soak everything. This is a bidet. This is going to wash the area. Notice how there is now no brown left on my arm. There is not even a tiny bit of residue because what I have done is I have not dried myself. I have cleaned myself. That is the power of the bidet, and that is what much of the rest of the developed world has that the United States of America doesn't, because we continue to believe that we can clean ourselves properly with toilet paper. I have 1.8 million subscribers. I know that at least one of you have had the experience after wiping your ass with dry toilet paper, where 20 minutes or 40 minutes or a few hours later, you felt some chafing, there was some itching or irritability, and the reason for that irritability is because what is on the skin of your asshole is the same thing that was on the skin of my arm when I used the toilet paper to dry off the brown residue versus using the bidet to wash it off. And the question that I would have for all of you is why would you treat the skin on your asshole any differently than the skin on the rest of your body? It's still a part of you. It's still your skin. It is your body. And I don't believe that we should be discriminatory. I believe that the skin on every part of my body should be held up to the same standard, whether it's the skin on my face, the skin on my knee, or the skin on my asshole. That's why I choose to use a bidet. And by denying Wayne the ability to access the service manual for this bidet, they are denying Wayne the right to something that is far more important than right to repair, and that is a right to a clean asshole. I want you to think about how irritable your neighbors are, how irritable that person with the HOA and the binoculars that bitches at you because your grass blades are a quarter of an inch higher than what they're supposed to be is. And I want you to imagine how much less of this we would have in a developed society if everybody, all 320 million Americans, regardless of religion, race, ethnicity, belief systems, sexual orientations, or sexual identities, all had clean assholes. We would live in a much better world. And by denying Wayne the ability to access a service manual for a bidet that he paid $500 for, not only are they denying him his right to repair, but they're denying him something far more important than right to repair. And that is the right to a clean asshole. And by denying him a right to a clean asshole, they have denied him the right to peace. 
And in my opinion, that is fundamentally unacceptable. I would never purchase a bidet from a company that charges $500 for a goddamn toilet seat when I could spend $23 on Amazon and still get a clean asshole. And I'm not saying it's right if the $23 bidet on Amazon didn't come with a schematic, but it's $23. If something happens to it, I'll just get another one. When you want $500 for your product and you are unwilling to provide a service manual to your customers and you say out loud in writing, repair is not a solution, you need a replacement, I'm here to tell you that you're wrong. If you ever purchase a device to clean your asshole, which I highly suggest that you do, this is insufficient and not good enough. Demand that if it costs more than $100, that it come with a service manual. Shame on you, Brondel. Shame on you. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something.